Welcome back to our Algebra 2 series. Today we're going to be working with the best fit line or the line of regression using the calculator. Uh, we have already explored this just a little bit and in the example on the right there we notice that um, the chart only has annual income and fixed expenditures. It does not have discretionary income. So I'm going to write in uh, real quick here the discretionary income for each of these rows and I'm just going to leave it in a uh, whole number of values of thousands uh, 4 and 8, 10, here 12 and I'm su just subtracting the values in order to get this here to put into the chart uh, if you recall we did this um, the other day and this is all in 35,000, 29,000, 21,000 etc. So these are the numbers that we're going to use as our dependent variable and uh, as we mentioned in class I'm going to I'm going to take out this one now because we're basically using annual income and disposable income. We've already worked through the first parts uh, of this in a separate uh, exercise and today we're going to work on using the graphing calculator to write a regression line. Uh, so beginning with the graphing calculator I have turned it on and I'm going to press stat. Notice that up in this area here uh, you do get the stat to come up and just keep an eye on that. You'll see it as we go along um, all the key press history. So um, I'm going to press enter for edit and I have already entered all of my numbers. If you have other numbers in one of these columns you can go to the top of the column you can press clear and then press enter and it will empty out all of those values and now unfortunately I'll have to type them all back in but that's alright. I'll do that. And that's uh, 4 and then 8, 10, 12, 18. I'm pulling these numbers right off of that right-hand column there, 21, 29, and 35. And before you leave this screen, make sure that your two columns have the same number of values in them. And we'll go over to the window. <coughs> If you recall in, in the graph, I'm just going to jump back over to the other side. If you recall in the graphing of this, we started at zero for both the x and the y axis, and for the x axis, we ended at around 95,000 or 100,000. This was 100k. And up at the top of the y, uh, since our top value here was 35, we made this zero to 40. So in our window, we're going to do the same thing. Notice the x min is uh, negative 10. Well, we're going to change that to a 0, and then we're going to make the maximum on 10 100. Everything is in terms of thousands. The, s the scale represents how often we'd like to put a notch on the x axis, and we'd like to put a notch every 10 units. 0 for the y min, 40 for the y max. And again, I'm going to put a 10 here just so that we can see that. That's the window that we'll be looking at, so we look at the right data value. And finally, before we plot this, I'm going to press, um, let me clear off my um, key press history. I'm going to press second and y equals, which gives us stat plots. The stat plots help us to plot the graph. And notice it says plot one is off. I'm going to press enter so I can see that. We have, in this case, a... Um, Right here, we've got a, uh, a little uh, plotting graph. We're using L1 and we're using L2. And then we have a mark that looks like this right here. So that's going to be good. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter so that we turn it on. And that works pretty well. I'm going to press Graph now. And what you see on your screen is similar to what we plotted by hand. So that's the graph of it. Finally, the last step of this is to actually work through the regression line. So here we go. This is this is the key the key uh, part of this example. Press stat, and this time we're going to use the right arrow to go to calculate. If you go down to number four here, you see that uh, number four is lin reg r l i n r e g linear regression. That's what we want. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put that into our variables. And in this case, it's going to be a Y variable. So I'm pressing the right arrow key. And function is acceptable. I'll press Enter there. We would like to turn it into Y1. And then we're going to press Enter one more time. Don't forget to hit that Enter the last time. Well, what we have discovered then is that the linear regression for this 
particular set of data points is going to be um, that equation. So if you recall in the picture, we had a bunch of boxes, and then we had made a, a line through that. The calculator then calculates for us that y1, or the regression line, is 0.429, I round to the fourth decimal place, x minus 6.5119. And that's the number we're looking for right there. And that's very similar to what we had when we did this by hand, but uh, it, this is a more accurate uh, example. So once again, uh, if you recall here, and I'm going to clear this out, I'm going to do this one more time for you so you can see this. It's stat, calculate, number four. Uh, let me clear that off, start again. Stat, calculate, number four, variables, y variables, function, y1, and enter. That will give you all the information you need. You'll also see the equation in the Y screen, and if you graph, you'll see that line come right through the top. And there you have it.